This is from Merit TV, Arab Psychiatrist Refuting Islam. The full video is on YouTube. Um, the logical key is the user who uploaded it. This psychiatrist is about to tell you that it is impossible for somebody to believe in the biography of Muhammad and become a mentally fit person, even though we know there are 1.3 billion mentally sane people who believe in Islam in this world. She's going to lie to you and contradict the most basic core foundational values of common sense and most basic understanding that even a baby would have. She says, when I examine the Quran, the Hadiths, and the Islamic books, I came to the absolute conviction, she says, absolute conviction, that it is impossible, impossible, she says it twice, for any human being to read the biography of Muhammad and believe it and yet emerge a psychologically and mentally healthy person. So what she is telling you, and she's an Arab telling you this, that it is impossible for a Muslim to read the Quran and the Hadith and to not become a mentally deteriorated person. So the psychologists believe that people who believe in God are either mentally unfit already or headed that way because they are Satanists, they are Illuminists, and they follow Weishaupt and Rothschild and not righteousness in God. Continue, you stupid succubus whore. Wafa's Sultan, you Sultan of Satan. She goes on to insult the way the Muhammad did what he does, okay? She goes on to insult the Prophet Muhammad and think that it's okay, even though that has caused how much uprising? What happened when that guy in Florida burned the, the, the Quran? Did not people act the fuck up in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, where they're not huge demonstrations? But she thinks it's okay to insult the Prophet Muhammad because she's a devil psychiatrist and psychiatrists can do what they want, including desecrate the grave of Muhammad. Given the chance she would urinate on Muhammad's grave, I shit you not. Listen to what she's saying. While she was breastfeeding her child, when they returned to him shouting, Allah Akbar. No, two goats would lock horns over her. So she goes on to go into detail why she is wrong and why she is right. Just like I told you in that video, what these people would do to Jesus. What do you think she would do to Muhammad? What do you think her and her fucking minions and her cohorts and her partners in crime would do to the prophets? Oh, it makes you very sad. Oh, 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 oh. It makes you very sad. It makes you very sad, right? Because you love us. You care for us. I'll continue. So, what she's going to go on to say... I mean, look, look what she's saying, man. I mean, basically I don't have to say nothing. <clears throat> you, can, you can see for yourself that she has no respect at all. That she, she is not only implying that Islam leads to mentally unfit lifestyle, but she is flat out saying that Islam leads to mental disorders. So you have to choose, people. Either you're going to side with dick, succubus, vampire whores like this. Vampresses. Okay? Now look what Islam considers women to be deficient in reason. Right? And I refute this assertion. Oh, so you refute the same assertion that is made in the Torah. You refute the same assertion, or should I say, the definitive statement that is in the Bible, that is in the Quran. Okay? Ma the majority of the world believes you are a demonic whore. But that doesn't matter. 
Because since you're a shrink with power, and you're in a secret society linked to Weishaupt's Bavarian Illuminati that spread through France and Scotland and Russia and to the Americas, etc., etc., you get to have your way because you're part of the satanic Masonic structure of this demonic society. Continue, you fucking whore. You fucking demon. She says, in the case that Islam attacks me, and I am merely tacking back. Oh, so, 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 let me get this straight. God is attacking you, and you are merely defending yourself from the word of God. Oh, well, excuse me, that makes it okay. That makes it okay, right? Of course I'm being sarcastic. Because she would say the same thing about the Bible. If you look at my other videos, my previous, my previous videos where I discuss the women's role in society and women's role in the Bible, she would say the same thing. When discussing the Torah, she would say the same thing. When discussing traditional tribal codes of behavior and roles of women, she would say the same thing. Because the rest of the world is wrong. And the shrinks and the conspirators who could pull the strings, they're right. Right? Because even though they don't believe in God like you and me do, under the same terms that you and I do, they're divinely given, they're divinely ordained and given their position. Right? Or is that a crock of bullshit and this is a demon who is assaulting not only your religions, but the very principles of a creator and of mayat, a divine order. Okay, I, I, can't, I can't stand this fucking demon anymore. I'm going to end this video here. Look at the blasphemous way she carries on. You know? If there's one person in the world that doesn't deserve a fair trial, it's this snake whore right there. Talking about her own people. Saying they have mental disorders. And they should be given pills and brainwashed until they don't believe in Islam. If this shrink and a bunch of her friends sat on a fucking board they would dictate the policy that anyone who believes in God is delusional and anti-human and should be given a pill and my response to you and you know, every psychiatric board in the world is burn in motherfucking hell you fucking soulless demon